In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My dear friends, we are all happy because we know now, we try to know our Mother Mary. Most of you are writing to me. They congratulate me. Others, they are saying, we were like in darkness about Mary. Now you give us like the light to her. Then they start loving her. And she told me, I told you, you are giving them the light. That is why I will reward you. Mother Mary is the mother of Jesus. I told you is the mother of the church. Church means disciples of Jesus. All who follow the instructions of Jesus are the children of Mother Mary. Our mother pray for us. Pray for us, my mother, because you are our mother. Today we are going to talk about the yes of Mary. Yes. That word yes changed her, hallelujah, from a virgin to a woman, to a wife of God, hallelujah. That yes. We know in a ordinary time or in a, our culture if i can say so when we, i say from a girl to a wife you know what happened you know already what happens but for mary it is totally different she didn't go to sleep with god no hallelujah Hallelujah. She didn't go to sleep with God so that she can be pregnant. No. Hallelujah. The marriage of Mary and God happened in the month of the angel, Gabriel. Because the angel came to tell her what was the decision and the Mary couldn't resist it to the decision of God. Yesterday we saw as as soon as they, uh, the angel told her, Mary was taken, was completely changed and she was automatically pregnant. Hallelujah. My dear friend, this is a mystery. When we try to go as a human being, it is beyond. But when we go spiritually, we can automatically understand. Because Jesus told us, you are my sisters, you are my brothers. Even though I know my mother, you know your mother, but I'm the brother, of, I'm the sister of Jesus. Something strange, which you can't understand with it, the physical thinking hallelujah my dear friends i told you the physic physical is no not a matter to god but the spiritual one let us continue reading luke chapter 1 verse 38 I'm the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. This is the yes of Mary. I'm the servant. She said, how can I change the will of God? 
how can I say no to God? That cannot be possible. Only I wanted to understand more how it will happen. But because it explained to me and I'm getting you, I say yes. That is, uh, that was the answer of Mama Mary. She didn't say, hey, go to take to others, go to that. No, she said, I'm fully complete with your explanations. And I say yes. My dear friends, they don't, don't resist to God because when God has chosen your means, he has a purpose. There is a reason why he has chosen you among others. There is a reason why. Let us continue. This is the years of our mother Mary. This years is the beginning of the salvation. Hallelujah. This years is our salvation. Wow. Let us go in the book of Genesis. Then we will see how a woman has misrespected God and has put a shame or a problem to all humanity. That woman was a human disobedience is um, Genesis chapter 3 uh, from verse 1. This woman is Eva. Eva in English. In Rwanda we say Eva. In, in, in French they say Eva means the name can't i don't know if other languages can say differently but name the name no no the name is like this now the snake was the most cunning animal that the lord has has made had made the snake asked the woman did god really tell you not to, to eat fruit from any tree in the garden we may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden the woman answered except the tree in the middle of it god told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even to touch it if we do if we do we will die the snake replied that is not true you will not die God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God and you and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and he, he, he and how good its fruit would, would be to eat and she thought how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate at it. I ate it. Then she gave some to her husband and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they, as soon as they had, they had eaten it, they were given understanding and they realized that they were naked. So they saw the fig leaves together and they covered themselves. This is the, how the woman disrespected God, disobedience. Hallelujah. This is the, the woman who talked with the snake. And from that uh, talk of the woman with the snake, we can understand what 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 was the ne- what was the next was this. That that evening they had the Lord is God walking in the garden, and they they hide from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, "Where are you?" He answered, "I heard you." In the garden, I was afraid and hide from you 
because I was the naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to, to eat? The man answered, The woman you put here with me gave me the, the fruit and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, Why did you do this? She replied, The snake tricked me, tricked me into, into eating it. And that was the end of this story. And after, uh, after this, that was uh, um, the woman. They they were chased from the garden. God chased them because they was in the disobedience. And when they they were chased from the garden, means the tree of the eternal life was so closed because god sent angels uh, he sent angels to to protect that tree of uh, eternal life so that if a person uh, eat it could never die hallelujah and that fruit, uh, that tree of the eternal life, we will see it. We will find it here in the New Testament. That uh, tree of eternal life is Jesus. Hallelujah. Means the tree which was in the garden and protected by the angels uh, cher, uh, cherubim uh, she, uh, the god god sent the cherubim to cherubim to protect the tree so that a person cannot touch it again that tree revealed itself hallelujah and it became as a person to us so that we could touch on it and eat it before he died he died hallelujah this is jesus he said let us read what he said this is in matthew chapter um, he said uh-huh the lord the lord, lord is supper while they were eating jesus took a piece of bread gave a prayer of thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples take and eat it he said this is my body then he took a cup and gave thanks to god and gave it to them drink it all of you he said this is my blood which is which said god is covenant my blood poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins i tell you i will never again drink this wine until the day i drink the new wine with you in my father's kingdom this is the eternal life the body means if adam and f eat it at that time they could eat fruits fruits of the tree but now because of mary because of the years of mary the tree became blood and body then we ate the fruit of the blood of and the body hallelujah which will be our eternal life and jesus said whoever we trust in me, we never, never, never die. Hallelujah. We know death have never power to someone who has trusted, who believe in Jesus. No, because after the resurrection, Jesus has, uh, was the warrior. Hallelujah. 
he was in the victorious that is why nothing can touch on him nothing can touch on the child of jesus my dear friends you can understand how yes of mary was our salvation yes of mary was our our advantage if i can say so because if she said no maybe god could choose another person it could take another time let us assume that it would come today could he choose me or you no i don't know because i can't be so holy the time of mary was the time of god that is the time he chose i has chosen and that is the time he has did what he has planned my dear friends this is the yes of mary the yes of mary which became our salvation which became our yes which became our the mercy of god to the humanity the yes of a person became our great part of forgiveness hallelujah because jesus said uh, god is god that is my blood which seals god is a covenant hallelujah my blood poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins hallelujah and when you see in the in the, this book and the this gospel according to you can see how the covenant of god was uh, not respected by israel but for him he said because i have promised them to do something i will hallelujah god was saying i will do because i said it our lord is loyal to he to uh, his covenant but for us i don't know my dear friends we know how many helped jesus to save the humanity because eva eve was a problem let me say a problem a was the source of uh, being chased just from the garden now with the uh, with the mary we are agreed to enter and even to eat all fruits hallelujah because f- f- from the genesis god has given them many trees but prohibited them some of them now with the new covenant all trees we are allowed to eat to all all trees hallelujah because of jesus of course not bad tree and the bad tree is the sin and the sin is not in jesus hallelujah means with jesus we can eat all fruits in the garden when we are in jesus it means the bad is sober is so so away from us hallelujah my dear friends with jesus we are spoiled hallelujah with the jesus we have everything and jesus always <laughs> tells me you are a spoiled generation my generation when i go to my father he knows that i have my generation you are my generation hallelujah we are the generation of god whoever is in the new testament is the generation of jesus a spoiled one my dear friends we are so spoiled our mother who is spoiling us is a mama mary nobody can change it like nobody can change that the mother of sin sinners or the human being is ever 
the mother of the salvation is Mary. There are two women in this Bible. And those two women, women, <laughs> two women, they are the beginners, the beginning, the beginning, yes. They are the beginning. Eva is the beginning of the suffering of a person. Mary is the beginning of the salvation, of the, of the forgiveness of the person. Two women in the Bible. At the starting of the Bible, you will see Eva. At the starting of the New Testament, you will see Mary. Two different women, different stories, and different ways. My dear friends, let us love Mary. And when we pray, our Mother Mary, when we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, you have to know what you say. Don't recite like reciting, reciting guys, as a recitation, no. You have to understand what you say. May the peace of Jesus be with you, my dear friends. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.